hello, how you d uh, hi. Welcome to Shady Reviews, the first and maybe last, I don't know, video where I get music gear, give you guys an honest opinion of it, and then provide a song sample at the end to show you how it sounds. Today we're looking at the Donner Black Devil Mini Digital Preamp with a cab sim. This thing's actually a lot smaller than I thought. Kinda looks like a small piece of cake. Or maybe my insatiable lust for sweets is finally making me hallucinate. Alright, so before I start, I just wanted to mention something because it is a common mistake that people make when they buy a pedal, especially for newbies. You need a 9 volt adapter to run this thing, it does not come with one, but I do recommend you get one, they're very easy to get. You can get them from the store or online if you can't pull yourself away from your favorite weeb anime or something. And if you're planning on getting more pedals in the future, you're definitely gonna want more of these. Alright, so what's on this thing? You got some knobs for knobbing. You got your standard lows, mids, and highs, and if you're anything like me, you're gonna be spending hours on that stressed and depressed. You got your level for volume. Right here, you have a pretty good reverb effect, actually. You could turn it up a little bit to be a cold as ice rock star. Or you could turn it up all the way to simulate being that lonely dude at a party who plays the same riff on guitar over and over again. Either way, it's good stuff. You got your gain knob here, it can go anywhere from cool punchy rhythms to that fellow we all know at the middle school who always turned all his crap up to 10. It's, it's really something, just, you're, going, you're doing a good job, just don't, don't stop. And last but not least, we have what I consider to be the most important feature on this pedal, the cab sim. It simulates cabs, I... The green light is the crunch channel, and it's meant to simulate the rhythm tone of a PV6505. And the red light is the lead channel, which is meant to simulate the lead tone of a PV6505. I prefer this pedal with the cab sim on by far. I know that people have different preferences when it comes to sound, but personally, when I tried this thing out without the cab sim, well, it'd probably be easier to show you the difference here. Alright, so let's hear what this little guy has to offer. Just to note, none of these recordings have any effects on them, it's just a pedal. We're gonna start off with the rhythm channel, which I found better for lighter stuff and cleans. Next, we have the lead channel, which has a lot more kick to it. For my personal style, I prefer to play rhythm on this one as well. So that's kind of the basic gist of what you're getting with this little brick for a toddler's house. Now, some of you might be wondering about the functionality and how easy it is to use this both live and at home. Or maybe not, who knows, but pfft. This thing has two different modes. Mode 1 is how it comes out of the box. Pushing the big boy button here turns it off and on, and you can hold the cab sim button down to change channels. Pretty good for home if you want to stick with one tone live, but it can get a little tough if you want to start switching around. Lucky for you, there's a secret cheat code to unlock mode 2, and Luigi in Super Mario 64. All you have to do is hold down the stomp button, wait a bit, and now you can click it to change tones. The last little cool feature on this thing is that it actually remembers the settings on each tone, so, basic so basically if you move around the knobs on the rhythm tone and then switch to lead, it'll have whatever the lead was set to prior, and vice versa. Perfect for when your little four-year-old ripped chat of a cousin comes in and goes, Oh, what are these too late, mother <laughs> It's f***ed up now. So, to sum it up before the song example, the Donner Black Devil is certainly a little demon. There's a lot of power in this thing, it doesn't feel cheap, and I honestly find the portability to be really convenient. As for sound, this one's a little tough because everyone has a different preference when it comes to what they want in their own music writing style. Personally, for my writing style, this doesn't quite cut it for me. I tend to prefer a cleaner and smoother distortion rather than the initial crunch that comes off of this thing. I guess I like my tones like I like my peanut butter. For all I know, there might even be some genres I try out in the future that can incorporate this perfectly. But if you like the tone in this video, and you end up liking the song at the end, then I highly recommend you check it out and consider grabbing one yourself. If the tone didn't do it for you, I should probably mention that there are other mini preamps by Donner that you can check out. They all simulate different cabs, so check it out anyways. And that's it for the review, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again Donner for sending me this pedal, it was an amazing opportunity. You can find the link to the pedal in the description below if you're considering buying it. And without further ado, here is the song.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it's a little different than what I usually do, and I'm not gonna lie, it was slightly nerve-wracking. I'm not used to talking in front of the camera for that long, and also reading off of a script. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more like this, or none. Or you can let me know what I should improve on for the next one. I tried to make it as fun as possible while still giving you everything you need to know about the product itself. But yeah, that was a thing. It, it has happened, and it is now complete. And as usual, guys, if you want to see more stuff like this every single Saturday, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I also have a Patreon, which helps keep this channel self-sustained and potentially make it a full-time job in the future. So if you're interested in checking that out, you can check out the link here, you can check a card up here, or a link in the description below. You do get rewards for signing up, so definitely check it out if you're interested in that. I also have a Twitch and a Twitter if you want to follow me there. We talk about video games and other dumb things. And uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. Uh, I will see you guys next week with a new original, so yeah, bye-bye.